Hey guys, it's Jackie, and today I'm doing another book review for you guys, and that book I am doing a review on is Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief. And this book has become very popular on BookTube lately, and I was like, oh, I gotta read this, because everybody else seems to be reading it, and a lot of people are loving it, so I thought, why not? And I am so glad I did pick up this book, because I loved it. So, I've had this really interesting relationship with this book. I read it first when I was in like 6th or 7th grade. I was pretty young when I first read it. I was about 12 or 13 years old, which ironically is the same age as Percy in this book. Um, but at the time I was like not a big fan of it. I did like it, but I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm going to continue on with the series right away. Um, but I did like it. So I waited a few years and I'm during that time, the movie came out. I actually did see the movie, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, and then I, my cousin got really into Percy Jackson, like the Percy Jackson series and the Heroes of Olympus series, which is like the sequel to the Percy Jackson series. And she said, Jackie, you have to read it. You'll really like it. And um, I said, okay, maybe eventually when I have, you know, the time, because these books aren't... They're not large, but they're not small either. They're like three, four hundred pages, so they're pretty large books. But um, so I, when I, I told her when I had the time, I would get around to it. So it was last month, which was April, when this is this video is being filmed. Um, and my book club that I'm part of, which is the Peru's Utopia Book Club on Goodreads, who was founded by Sasha over a at, at Book Utopia and uh, Reagan over at Peru's Project. Um, and this was our book club of the month, book club book of the month for April. And I was like really excited to read it because I really wanted to reread it and give it another chance. So unfortunately, I never got around to it because I had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. And it wasn't until the day before the live show that I was able to get around to read it. And unfortunately, I didn't get to finish the entire book. I got like three or four chapters in. And then the next day, I started reading again, but I realized the live show had already happened. So I just thought, oh, I'll have to read it again another time. So our book club of the month, book club book of the month, excuse me, uh, for this month, the month of May, is the new Rick Riordan book, which is... Um, the Trials of Apollo, The Hidden Oracle, and I was like, oh, I want to read it so bad. So, um, a lot of people said, like, oh, you have to read the Percy Jackson and the series and the Heroes of Olympus series before you can get to it, because there's probably going to be spoilers in the new book. So I'm like, okay, I'll go to my local library, which is why it has my library stickers on the side and the cover, so ignore those, um, pretend they're not there, um... And I'll pick up all the books if they have them all. And they had a majority of them. They had all, almost all of the Percy Jackson series, except for the second book, which is The Sea of Monsters. Um, and then they had, like, two of the books from the uh, Heroes of Olympus series, which was kind of sad, but that's okay. I can do it. Um, so I was like, um, I went home that day, and I started reading it, and I literally could not put it down. It is that good. The, like, the minute I started reading it, like, the first page, like, the introduction that, um, Rick Riordan puts in this book is just incredible, like, oh my gosh. And I, that drew me in right away from the very beginning. So I'm like, oh, this book is amazing. So I literally read, like, six chapters, and then it was like, midnight when I got like six, ch six chapters in so I'm like oh I don't want to go to bed I want to keep reading it so I can get to the sea monsters and the books after that I think the titans curse is the third book I'm not sure um so I'm like and in the end I did absolutely love it I really did like it um and I'm going to just a warning there's going to be a little bit of spoil spoilers after this point so like uh, my favorite part of this book was when um, Percy got to meet Poseidon, who is his father. Um, I really liked that part. I also loved the part where they went to the underworld and they got to meet Hades, because I thought that was an amazing scene. I really liked how they 
um, described it in the book. Um, and, uh, you know, I love the interaction between Percy and his mother. I was so sad when, uh, they had the, the scene with the Minotaur and she, well, we thought she had gotten killed, but turns out she didn't. And I was so sad when that happened, but they were, it all, um, got good in the end because, uh, Zeus brought her back. Uh, or Poseidon. I think it was Poseidon. I can't remember. Um, but I was like, oh yay, she's back. So I was so happy. Um, and then some of my favorite characters, I love Annabeth. I love Percy. I love the interaction between those two. I am not sure how I feel about Grover at the point. At this point, I'm going to probably have to continue on with the series to see how I feel about him in the end. Uh, but I do lo I love Percy, I love Annabeth, I think they're great characters, I love the interaction between them, I love the interaction between all three, between Percy, Grover, and Annabeth, but I feel like Grover is like that, like, annoying sidekick, um, that's always there, but, again, I'm not sure if I'll, it will change in the next few books in the series, so, um... Yeah, that was my review of Percy Jackson in The Olympian The Lightning Thief. I was so happy with how this book turned out. I really loved it. And if you guys liked it too, please give it a, this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button that's down below. And also, I, <laughs> I forgot to mention this. Um, I give this book a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. And you can also find my social media links down in the description box below on my Twitter, my Instagram, um, and my other channel is, which I try to upload videos as much as I can on, and I will have the review for the Sea of Monsters coming up very soon, probably in the next couple of days, and um, I also have my blog post about the uh, Lightning Thief up on my blog already, which is also in the description box below, and I'll talk to you guys for my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!